Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Agmed Soft Research Lab and in today's video I'm going to have a simple tutorial about sum of squares function in Excel so you can find it as sum sq you can see it returns the sum of these squares of the arguments so I double click on that and you can give it numbers up to 255 um, so if I give it 2 and 3 you can see it gives you 13 but how does it work so you know that sum of the squares it means that well, what did I input in here it was 2 and 3 okay so you have 2 and 3 um, you will multiply each one add itself and now get some of them and that's the answer so um, the you know the, the priority is not important in here since they are all going to going to get squared and then they're going to be summed uh, to and they're going to be added to each other so for example if i have um like one two three and four in here and um, it's not important that whether i how do i do you know this um summing up together of course and the answer will be this number so so there's no difference uh, uh, that um, you square this one first and then this one or first this one and then this one this is so obvious of course and that's it so the truth of this could be tested by entering these data into the sum of the squares you can see it gives you 13 and if i go for this other range you can see it gives you 30. Um, so I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the sub channel if you are at this level in uh, learning Excel. Um, I'm so happy to have you in our channel. Uh, please don't forget to check our other videos, our other uh, playlists about Excel, about SPSS. We have a bunch of tutorials on these related topics. So I will see you in the next videos and bye.